Hey guys, and welcome back to AI War. I am c cat and today we're going to rebuild. I mean, I know we rebuilt all the last episode, but this episode we're rebuilding the army, the fleet, the men and women who will sacrifice our lives to buy us a cupcake or something, I suppose. I mean, that's all we really wanted in this war. Just a goddamn cupcake. And we're going to get that cupcake. Yeah, we are. Uh, why are we not building resources here? It's the real question. Okay, cool. Now we're building those resources. Seems to be something on this planet, maybe? One enemy ship, really? Oh, there's a bomber. He's just stuck in that thing that's going on there. Well, we're just going to build a turret and slowly kill him. He's like trying so hard to escape and when he finally destroys the uh, tractor beam, another one just grabs him. He's never going to get out that way. Which is kind of what we want. Him never to get out. Okay, so we can build five fortresses. That's more resources than I really will have anytime soon. Maybe a bad idea. Maybe just one fortress for now. That's still far more resources than we have. How long will it take to build? Uh, 20 minutes at this stage, but I'll put some engineers on it once things start getting a bit faster. And it starts building. It's going to be a slow build, as I said, but it'll get there. Because right now we're still trying to rebuild everything that we lost, which we did lose quite a bit. That's the problem. Actually, what we should do... We've got those scouts here, don't we? Are they still here? Well, we've got these scouts still here. I'm going to see if they can get into my mum. Or we could attack Alistair. Get some more resource growth going there. There's nothing particularly scary. We could just throw the wasps at them. We've got a lot of wasps. Uh, but once the golems are done repairing, I think that'll probably fix our resource problem quite a bit as well. These engineers exist only to fix the golems. Oh, saviors of the people, though, these golems. You know, let's never forget their amazing strength and capacity to save all of humanity. Because, jeez, we were not looking good last a oh, couple of episodes ago. We really weren't. It's quite terrifying, in fact. Uh, so we're just going to throw up some uh, rebuilders where we can. At the very least it'll distract the AI from defending where we're thinking of attacking. Uh, Fizz was never conquered, huh? Interesting. Well, Fizz has resources, right? It does. Well, why have we not conquered Fizz? Let's do that now. I mean, I think the reason we didn't conquer it is because we were afraid of losing the Zenith Mirror Mark V fabricators. But I don't even like Zenith Mark uh, Zenith Mirrors, so stuff them. Zenith Mirrors, all they do is reflect damage, and I don't want to reflect damage, I want to deal it. As uh, drug dealers often say, I don't want to... I don't know what they say. I, I don't know anything about drug dealers except from what I learned in GTA, which is probably all lies. Probably. I wonder if you can still build missile silos. You can still build missile silos. Hmm. You know, let's just chuck a missile silo up and let's see what we can build with it. I mean, we could nuke the hell out of them. Though. Okay, let's not build the nuclear warhead Mark III. That, that'll kill everything. Our progress jumps up by 5,000. That is absolutely terrifying. Okay, so. I don't know why you'd have used that. Okay, so missiles, they do cause AI damage, but the good thing about them is they hurt the enemy. So what we could do is we could always build a lightning warhead, lure a bunch of guys in, and then lightning them. Jeez, I don't know about this. It's just so many guys, and there's all those mines just out in the open. 
course if I go and EMP them and then I'll have you know 91 ships of them down yeah but that fortress is the main concern is fortress immune to anything probably uh there was a way to look up something I don't remember what the key was. There's a key where you can click on to see what they're strong and weak against, but I can't remember what that key is. Oh well, it's not hugely important right now. Uh, what is important is my golems are probably almost all fixed. Yeah, they're so close. The cursed golem's taking a bit of damage just because it exists. If we can turn it off, that'll stop the attrition damage. In fact, we should just turn them all off. And that way, when they're repaired, they're repaired, and they're not taking any more damage. Is that simply building? It's not very building as wasps, though. I need to build as wasps. Just not sure if charging into new earth, new new earth with a whole bunch of wasps is a good idea. I can't see how it's a bad idea. I mean, it's not like I've ever angered this guy before and almost lost the game because of it. See, the joke there is that's exactly what it almost happened. I don't even need to tell you that's what the joke is. We all saw that. It was rather terrifying. Okay. I'm really just thinking what would happen if I just fired the wasps in there and just left. Actually, let's make sure we can actually attack it. Uh, mission objective or objectives. Wait, we've still got a generator still up, so we can't even attack them yet. We were going for Scarrow, and then we got distracted. Oh, I remember that now. We were going for Scarrow. Okay. Well, these guys... You know what? You're repaired enough. Get rid of... We don't want you anymore. You guys can turn on, and all head off to Scarrow. Because before we can destroy the damage the AI, we need to do destroy all their shield generators. And Scaro is the last one left. Now while I don't care so much about Scaro, I do not want it there. Like, while I'm not going straight for the AI right now, it's probably easier to, you know, prepare for the attack now rather than when the ones were at their gates. Uh, we didn't end up getting any scouts in there permanently. It's a little disappointing. We've got a scout in here permanently. In fact, We've got that scout in here, why don't we... Where is he? The good thing about level four, uh, 4 scouts is they can't be detected by anything. So he can always just come around here. And he's going to go through Solaire. Good on him. Solaire is a great place. Okay, resources. Pretty stable. Okay, now Scarrow, we're going to send in the wasps first. I really think the wasps is not what we should send in first. I think it should be like the secondary attack. Okay, so let's send in... No, come back here! Where are you going? Jeez, guys. Calm down. I know you're the stars of the show, but calm down. Okay, into Scarrow. And then once they've blown up a bunch of stuff, which they're doing quite well right now, we release the wasps. Release the wasps! 500 wasps are going nuts now. Look at them all go. No one even knows what's going on right now. That's the plan. And then, with all those wasps going nuts and destroying everything. Jeez, they are destroying everything too. They're so strong. On a level 2 world. Possibly a level 1 world. And actually, the wasps are dying pretty quick. You should not be here. You can retreat to Jove. There's no reason for you to be here anymore. Alright. That's promising. Uh, we do have a counter-attack guard post. That's right. That's why I didn't want to attack Scarrow. <laughs> I like how whenever it gets reinforcements, the first thing they do is just, like, wipe it out. Yeah, we're going to get a counter-attack guard post here. 
Um, which is going to be slightly annoying, but it's going to be alright. Thankfully, these wasps do have a little bit of lasting power against level 2s. Level 2 is not anything worth writing home about. Level 2 is easy mode. And we have 901 enemy ships to Lux in 10 minutes. I suspect that something like that might happen. Alright. Tuscaro. And you guys need to be at Lux. Including old Waspinator over here. He's got to terrorize. I never watched much Beast Wars. I kind of wish I had. Well, they only screened season one of Beast Wars. I'm just thinking about Beast Wars now because I said Waspinator. But Beast Wars was fun. Uh, I only saw season one because that's the only one they aired at like a time I watched TV as a kid. You know, they aired at like four or five o'clock for like one season. I really liked it. And then they aired it in the morning, which I could never watch it. I would never watch TV as a kid in the morning. Or actually, I never watch TV in the morning now. Actually, I never watch TV at all now. There's clearly a lesson to be learnt there. I'm not sure what the lesson is, but clearly we're all learning it together. Uh, well, now we've got a fleet of 200 ships. You know what? These, these resources are not as bad as they were before. I imagine once Scaro comes up online, it'll be even better. Yeah, once we uh, get these ship reinforcements sorted out, we'll be okay with resources again. I mean, that kind of goes without saying, though. Once we get enough all, all our resources, we'll have lots of resources. Yes, that is what happens. Uh, let's just get rid of a couple of these. Should make things a little bit easier. Clear the congestion a bit. Uh, now, I wanted these ships, not many, just to head to Lux. How's this defense going? Oh, it's, it's existing. It's better than what I could say for it before. Um, oh, here comes the level 4 scout. He's taking a sweet time. When you're that, like, amazing at stealthing, you don't need to be fast. Yeah, it's probably something that, you know, Sun Tzu said. Oh, that's right, I forgot level 3 engineers teleport everywhere. It's kind of cool. Okay, just build the fortress. Okay, what are we looking at? At my mum. <sighs> I like the line of level 5 ships just right there in the open. Step 1, you need to take out that. Take out that, you need to destroy 200 million points of shield. Ugh. It's a horrible start. And we need to destroy just that thing. These guys will destroy it slowly. Uh, and more resources, of course, is good too. At the moment, I'm never going to say no to more resources. I just constantly need more. So this will slowly blow that up. It's not really, as I said, in a major hurry moment. You know, it's sad when you just build defenses just to blow up a core shield generator, but I'm not in a hurry. I don't need to do it in a hurry. So they'll just shoot it slowly and eventually they'll win. I could have probably built something more powerful, but eh, that's boring. Go on, destroy it. They're not even finished yet. Now they're finished. No, they're not. Yep, now they're finished. And destroy that. So, that, this is going to take a while. <laughs> That's okay, they're just going to focus on that. We don't need to watch them. Okay, we should have a few golems here. We've got all three golems here, great. And we're going to put them free roaming defender because the AI will be here in five minutes. Places, everybody. Because if you're not in your places, we're all going to die. And nobody wants to die today. Except George. But, you know, that's kind of how George is some days. 
He just has a bad day and he just takes everyone down with him. Literally, he takes everyone down with him. He's a, he's a psychopath. Yeah, it's going down. Okay. And these level 4 ships are being cranked out fairly nicely. You know, we might send them up to Lux. And these guys. Yeah. Also, an advanced research facility is just giving me research. Research! Alright, we have one fortress. And my resource is now positive. There's only one possible response to that. Another fortress. Because you can never have too many fortresses in one location. Unless they're flying fortresses. In which case, that doesn't actually change the situation, because they are flying fortresses. But each fortress will do 160,000 damage 30 times every 6 seconds. Oh yeah! Also, it can repair stuff. I mean, I'm not sure how useful repairing will be, but... Especially in a defensive situation, but that's okay. We're not going to complain, it's just more things we can do. Now, my hope here is that we don't need to use the wasps. If we don't need to... We'll have to use the wasps. There's 900 ships coming. What am I thinking? They're going to come from the side, and we will use the wasps just because otherwise... I don't want to use them, though. I want to use them in an attack. That's going to be good. But no, patience is a virtue, as they say. I'm not sure where these guys are going. Where are you guys going? Uh, we've got a whole bunch of ships coming to Rose as well. Cloaked ships at that. Okay, that's cool. Um, not happy about the cloaked ship situation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I saw something here that detected cloak really well. What was it? The decloaker! That sounds good. A decloaker sounds like it might be useful. Well, let's research it. See if it is. And they're only going to be coming from one way. They're going to be coming from Alistair. Uh, uh, the annoying thing is they're both going to be attacking at the same time. That's a lot of ships. And they're level 3 ships at that. Alright then, I see what we're doing here. You're going to kick my ass again, aren't you, for your own amusement? Well, okay, new plan is we protect Lux first and then we go over to Rose as soon as possible. I'm not sure what other plans you could have. Hopefully Rose will... New plan, we're going to get better tractor beams, or more tractor beams. You know what, one or the other, I'm not fast. Okay, and try to hold them off at rows for as long as possible. Uh, turrets. And it's going to take a minute to build them, it's just too long. Everything's taking far too long. Uh, what about this tiny, tiny tachyon guy? Tiny tachyon guy, go! Okay, well that's not building anymore, so that's, oh, that's helped our resources immensely. In fact, that has really helped our resources. If we can get these level 2 NGs up as well. Then we should have some defenses up in time. Crystal's running a little low, but now it's coming back up now. Okay, we've got a little tachyon emitter. Not sure how useful it's going to be, but we'll, I guess we'll find out very soon. And this also means we can pump out these ships a lot faster, with no problems about resources. Great, this is what I was hoping for that would happen soon. 
Okay, I don't think we're going to do a big attack this episode, but definitely next episode we're going to attack New New Earth. We've got a lot of defenses here. I'm feeling good about this potential to attack. Okay, you know what, I think we're going to end this episode with this uh, defense. It'll be probably pretty quick, so it might be a... I was about to say short episode, but originally when I'm doing these I want to go for 20 minutes. They always just tend to go long. Okay, what have we got? We have... where are they coming from? I don't know. Uh, that did not do well. Are they immune to... they're immune to tractor beams anyway. Well... Bother. Okay. Whereas Lux, what have we got? A whole multitude of ships. I might actually take you to Rose now, simply because we can't track to beam them, and we need to be able to stop them. Hopefully that is taking them out. Not very quickly, actually. That's doing alright. Okay, Rose. You... are still standing, surprisingly enough. Okay, lots of little guys. They should be able to clean up fairly quickly. Where'd the space planes go? Oh, they're there. Uh, this is still... Oh, they're being ripped apart. There's only 500 left. Okay, wasps. Still amazing. Uh, their numbers are dropping quite significantly, quite quickly. Good. We're going to send in 16 wasps. They won't expect this. No one expects like a small number of wasps. Not even an AI. Especially not an AI. Oh! The resistance! Nice! The resistance seem to live near Lux. I think it's the second time I've seen them at Lux. But not particularly the worst, well, not the best time for them to defend, but... Uh, what happened to all the guys at YOLO? Did they attack at some point and I didn't see them? Because they're gone now. Well, we defended. Now we'll go protect K go for Kador in our preparation for our Valiant Assault. Next episode may be a... <laughs> Next episode may be the last episode, guys. Especially if we have a repeat of what happened last time. So it's been a couple of episodes to get back to where we were. But this time, we're going to be ready for the same shit. We're going to build some turrets. More turrets. Uh, tachyon beam emitters could be good. We're going to over-defend the hell out of this. And then we're going to over-defend the hell out of the next one as well. Except more. We do not want a repeat of the situation that we had last time. But we won't get it, because this time, we'll one, beat New New Earth, and two, uh, beat everything else, I suppose, maybe? I don't like that hesitation near the end of that sentence, that does concern me. Where is the resistance going? Who knows where the resistance is going? Those guys are crazy. They're just resisting. I hope they realize it's not. I hope they realize that it's futile to resist. Some guy with a metal suit told me that. I think his name was Metal Suitatron. Oh my goodness, Metal Suitatron of Borg would have been the most amazing name. But thankfully, it was not to be, because that would have also been the dumbest name. A metal Sutatron of Borg. Oh, now I just want to hear. Uh, I keep wanting to say Jean Luc Picard, but that's not actually his name. Might as well be. His name should be Jean Luc Picard. Patrick Stewart should change his name. This is going to be decreed by the internet. 
Uh, we have survived 10 hours so far, and 10 hours is about where we're going to start doing our attacks. Two fortresses here, we're going to build more fortresses inside New New Earth when we get there. The longer we wait though, the longer the AI has a chance to defend. We really do need to make a move. And we will. Next episode. So guys, join me next episode where we attack New New Earth for the second time, but this time we're not going to run away quite so quickly. I don't think we'll win it, but at the very least we'll take out some guard posts. Uh, like this one, maybe, is that a guard post in there? That's a guard post in there. Yeah, we're just gonna take out some guard posts. That way we'll be able to fight it easily next time. Oh, I'm so afraid of next episode. See ya!